Alright, I am making this video to show off that in Animal Crossing New Leaf there is a very, like, easy way to make bells in this game. And if you haven't heard, if you want to upgrade your house all the way to 7 million, like, I mean, all the way, like, fully done and all that, cost over 7 million bells to get that all done and taken care of. So, with this little, uh, we can call it an exploit. It's just a very easy way to farm. Um, very easy way to farm for bells. So, yeah, first what you have to do, you gotta be able to go to the island, and to do that, it's gonna take a few days if you're starting up Animal Crossing. You have to, first of all, you have to pay off have to, even though it's spoilerish, but if you've been watching me, it's not really a spoiler. Pay off your tent, which is 10,000, uh, 10,000 bells. Then, um, it'll be, once that's paid for, you can just let, um, Tom Nook, uh, can tell Tom Nook, I want a new house. And once you tell him that, he'll build it. Day two, it'll be built. Pay that off. It's going to be like 30, 39,000 or 34,000, something like that, bells. And then once you pay that off, um, third day comes around, uh, Tortimer will come, will be on the loading screen. And then you, you'll see Tortimer at this dock right here. Talk to him. Then you will have to wait another day. So. By day four, you will be able to have access to the island, which I think you should be able to get uh, enough bells to pay off everything and go to the island by day four. But anyways, enough of that. That's a little explanation on how to get to the island as far as the exploit goes. Not an exploit. Why am I calling it an exploit? I don't think it's really an exploit. It's just very easy. I guess you could say it's an exploit, but pretty much go to the island, pay a thousand bells to travel to the island, and uh, be on your merry way to the island, and so you don't have to listen to Captain sing. Um, as soon as he starts singing, which, yeah, just keep tapping the A or B, whatever button, and he'll be like, okay, I'll shut up. Go to the island, right now. Okay, now we're at the island. So, what do you do? Pretty much, you kind of destroy the island a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. What do, what do you mean by destroy the island? Well, first, you take this axe here and chop off almost every single tree in, on the island. Like, literally, just about every single tree on the island. If you... <laughs> like, there's no coconut trees except for one right there. And, uh, here's an example of what to do. Look at that. Already, I have a bug right here. Just pick it up. That one right there. 8,000. 8,000 bells. <laughs> Not, I haven't even been on the island for a minute, and I'm already getting bell, bells, like, out the wazoo. Um, see those blue butterflies? They're worth 3,000. Now, you can catch them if you want, if you want to make things go quick. But, yeah, if you, uh, you need to at least leave one tree on the land part of the island. I'm making that one grow because I want to see what bug appears on there because during the nighttime, uh... There's one bug that appears that's 10,000. And you have to do this at 5 p.m. I mean, maybe 5 p.m. I've seen it happen at 5 p.m. But most likely start at 8 p.m. And then from there, um, just wander around the island. Going through palm tree to palm tree. That's worth nothing. And then look at that. That bug right there, that is the one that you want to not sneak up too quickly to and you want to catch 
a lot of these bugs. This bug right here is worth 12,000. 12,000, right there. Already got 20,000. You'll know it's that bug whenever you see that. <laughs> um, but yeah, just keep doing this and the island will start to get like a lot more bugs and that's another bug that's worth 8,000. Um, it will start to fill up with bugs like as in no more bugs will respawn. So what you're going to want to do with that is you'll s I'll demonstrate it in a second whenever it seems to happen because right now the bugs just keep coming. Look at that. Another 8,000. This one's worth 8,000 too. You can get the shark if you want, if you're good at fishing, because sharks here are worth uh, between ten and twelve, ten and fifteen thousand. But I haven't had a good night tonight with fishing, so um, that's why I only got the net. And look at that, another bug, eight thousand, right there. Get that bug. And look at that, we're getting in bells. I've already gotten five different bugs, so that's like over what? Over 40,000 that I've gotten because of that 12,000 bell bug. But, um, yeah, just keep moving around back and forth until if you think that bug's worth nothing. Um, if you think no more bugs are going to respawn on the palm trees because too many bugs are on the island, because those butterflies, I've seen like four of them at in one screen before. Okay, this bug right here, this beetle, it's only worth 6,000, but 6,000, that's still still a good amount. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If I'll probably skip ahead a little bit, but yeah, just do this at nighttime, pretty much. Nighttime is when the bugs come out for uh, for the beetles on the palm trees. And, I mean, on these trees, you can get a that 10,000 bell bug that I talked about. And I think there's also a 6,000 bell bug as well. I think that's the gold scarab or whatever. But those are a little hard to get on those trees. These... Anytime you see a bug on, anytime you see a beetle on a palm tree, that's going to be at least 6,000 if it's the red uh, beetle. And if it's not a red beetle, it's going to be 8,000 or more. So, yeah, as you can see, no more bugs are actually respawning right now. So what I do, so I don't have to just catch all the bugs and restart, I just uh, go in the house, go in the hut. I mean, and then exit, and, uh, yeah, just, uh, keep going from there, and then, let's see, okay, that one right there, that one right there, that one is the 10,000 bell bug, if I can catch it, please don't miss, cool, okay, yeah, that one, yeah. You'll also know whenever he screams. <laughs> um, that one's the 10,000 bell bug. So, yeah, that's the one that you want to keep an eye out for. And why I usually try to scare the bugs off the trees as well. And so, yeah, with that, I will come back in a sec to... Um, <laughs> another 10,000 bell bug on the tree. Um... Yeah, with that, I will be right back with my bug collection. Okay, um, just got done with getting all the bugs. I think it's been less than an hour, actually. But, either way, whenever you're done getting all your bugs in, um, the island and stuff, if this is your first time here, um, this box right here, can hold up to 40 things that you collect on this I island. And as you can tell, this one's worth, this one right here is worth uh, 12,000, as I said. This one right here is worth 8. 
thousand, eight thousand, eight thousand. This one right here is worth ten thousand, but it comes out about midnight or something like that too. So something that I would highly recommend if you want to do this would probably be to set set your um set your town to a nighttime type town, which you need to get a hundred points for be before becoming mayor and stuff and then you gotta wait the following day before you can access that menu and then when you are able to access that menu you have to wait the following day after paying 20,000 bells before your town becomes a nighttime town so yeah but yeah this one's this one comes out at midnight I think or nighttime because this is the first time I've really seen it today so that one 10,000 this one's worth 8,000, and this one is worth 6,000, the red one. So, if you get any extra bugs or something like that, probably should get rid of the red ones, just just let you know. So, once you're done with that, head back to town. And make sure all the bugs are um, in there. Don't leave any in your inventory or else they will not be moved over into that box so once we're out of this area okay shut up captain yeah I told you to shut up shut up <laughs> um I'll start heading to the, t the uh, shop which if you, it's if you have the nighttime town as well the uh, flea market and this game, which it's the residential area, in the residential area. See that recycling bin area down below on the screen? I just poked it. Um, that's where I would highly recommend you trade your bugs because the, um, the nephew's shop is very, very... It's like, it takes away 20% of what you could be making. And, yeah, not something I would recommend going to, if that's the case. Now, there's not enough slots, because I, uh, don't have 40 slots. I only have, uh, 16. So, we'll just, uh, put those there, and then head to the shop. And, again, if you're a nighttime town, highly, highly recommended. The shops stay open later, especially the, uh... The flea market, that's what I've been calling it. Uh, the flea market stays open till about 2 o'clock a.m. So, very good time, especially since I got the clock in the game set for, uh, what? What was it? What was it? 118. Yeah. Had a time travel to get to make this video because it, by the time I was done making the video for my regular game, um... It was kind of time for it to be done whenever I was done getting ready for this video. So, yeah. I don't want to try to time travel too much. <laughs> so, look at that. All those bugs worth 150,000. 150,000. Just, just those bugs alone. 16 slots. So, I mean, we still have what? Um... Have what, like 28 slots to go or something? Something like that. No, like 29 actually or something. It's not. I'm used to having one item in my inventory and just keeping it. So then it's 15, 15, and 10. So this time it's gonna be 16, 16, and 8. So, look at that, all them bu all them bells right there. Yeah, my, my working with math, not the best in my head. I'm not a good person to work with the head. I usually have to write my work down. And actually, since I got so many, since I got so many bells, I have to carry it. It's going to be less uh, space in my inventory, so... Yeah, let's uh, head up 
head back over to the recycling place. And, uh, while I head over there, well, actually, when I head back, I will let you, I'll inform you all of something as I get the last stuff. The last of the bugs. Okay, so how much, how much are you going to get me for these bugs? And the total is... 114,000, so what? I got, uh, 264,000 so far going into the bugs. And this is just for the bugs. I mean, if I were you, I would probably try to get the sharks as well. If you see any sharks peeking their fins above the water. So that way you get, um, even more bells and also, uh... Less time just trying to get bugs. So, yeah, that's something else I will have to add to that. Okay, so... Show me... Final bugs. Alright. That takes care of that. And something I want to say, if I don't have time, I'll mention at the end of the video as well. Um, I will be raffling stuff off that I get in this game, if you are new to the channel. Because, uh, yeah, I, I feel like I should give away some items like when the game comes out in the U.S. Because I just want to do that. <laughs> so, what do we have for this? Should be a decent amount as well. Especially since I got so many good bugs here, too. 90,000! So, yeah. I made over 300,000 uh, bells here. Gotta say, that's a, that's a good... Uh, a good little exploit you gotta you got here I mean it might take an hour to get that much but it's better than uh, taking that long to I mean getting that much after what days I mean technically I just got enough to pay off uh, pay off like my the first uh, first three or four upgrades for your house Maybe even more than that. So, I mean, that's a that's a good way to get some money here. So, yeah, let me... Before I end the video, let me just explain it a little more. Plan to raffle stuff off. Nintendo items, which you can get through fortune cookies. And uh, it's like a 1, at, one to 50 um, in the fortune cookies. And... I mean, you might say, oh, that's so easy to get the Nintendo items. Why even bother uh, raffling them off? Well, if you think about it, it's going to take... You got one out of 50 chance of getting that specific item. And, I mean, I've, been, I've gotten a few items that I hadn't even gotten before I started over the game. So, I would highly recommend... Uh, watching for me ma making an update video, subscribing to me if you want to, to find out when I start thinking about doing, um, showing off items that I will be raffling and all that. And so, yeah, um, I will try to get some good items for the raffles as well, and maybe furniture sets and all that sort of stuff. So, with that, um, I hope this exploit helped someone out. And again, I will explain it. Once you're able to get to the island, just cut down all the trees except for two coconut trees that are on the side sides. And then in the middle of the island, leave one tree out. Otherwise, no bugs will show up if you don't have any trees in the middle of the island. No bugs will show up on trees. So, yeah, always keep at least one tree in the middle of the island. And start trying to find the bugs at about 5 p.m. I 
found them at because that's the evening time in the game. But I would, if you want to be safe, start at 8 o'clock p.m. And then uh, from there, um, just keep catching the bugs. And also the sharks will be out by that time as well. So keep a lookout for the fins that are in the water as well. The sunfish, however. The sunfish, I think that's what it's called. The one that looks like Mambo or whatever from Link's Awakening. Uh, that one is out at the 5 to 8 time zone still. So because it's the sunfish, it's out when the sun's out. So be wary about that because that's only worth 4000 while the sharks and stuff are worth ten to 15000 so yeah, um, I hope this video's helped out people, and with that, I hope to catch you all next time.